Hey everybody, this is Brett, and this 2023 brand new Ram 2500 Rebel is stock number 23T107. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy duty truck and Ram headquarters. This brand new 2023 Ram 2500 has the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine. Puts out 410 horsepower and 429 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, show you the new options on this particular truck. This is a brand new trim level for 2023. It is not replacing the power wagon, but it looks a lot like the power wagon, and it's got a lot of the same features as the power wagon. Uh, starting off, you'll notice that it does have the worn Xeon 12 winch. So that is similar to the power wagon. This one has the LED headlamps, LED fog lamps, and LED running lights. You also get a sport hood. Now, I don't think that's part of the power wagon package, so that looks pretty cool. Um, and you can remove that plate in there to make it fully functional has the LED headlamps. This color is called olive green. Uh, this truck comes in eight different colors when it's two-tone, and you can get nine colors when it's not two-tone, two including diamond black. Uh, olive green is kind of a cool color. It's got a lot of metal flake in it. And the other thing that really sets the Rebel apart from the power wagon is that this one comes with 20 inch painted and polished aluminum wheels also comes with Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires these are LT 285 60 R20s they're more of an aggressive tire uh, mud tire if you will that does have the Bilstein shocks and the one thing that this does not have that the power wagon does is the disconnecting sway bars um, but really that's the main difference we also have brand new mirrors for this particular trim package and I'm pretty sure these are gonna be the new mirrors going forward because they've got a lot of functionality to them and we'll go over that in just a second. Here's your original window sticker, 23 Ram 2500 Rebel Crew Cab 4x4. It's only available in a Crew Cab six foot four inch box at the moment. And uh, olive green is the color, 6'4", Hemi, 8-speed automatic. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. This one does have the Uconnect 5 Nav standard. Olive green, pearl coat's a $200 option. Uh, customer preferred package 2GR is a minus $1,095 option. Gives you the high back seats, two-way power headrest, or two-way rear seat headrest. Conventional differential front axle, limited slip differential with electronic lock. Heated front seats, electronic shift on the fly, and everything else, heated steering wheel and um, everything there. Does have the Rebel suspension. Level two equipment group gives you, is a $7,110 option. Gives you the leather trim bucket seats, the bifunctional LED projector lamp headlamps, the Uconnect 5 with the 12 inch touchscreen display, leather wrapped grab handles, Ventilated front seats, auto dimming exterior mirror, front and rear floor mats, power heated folding, telescoping memory mirrors, a rear power sign rear window, and rain sensitive windshield wipers, heated second row seats, two way power lumbar adjustable passenger seat, automatic dimming exterior passenger mirror, eight way power adjustable front passenger seat, eight or automatic adjust in reverse exterior mirrors, rear door accent lighting. Radio, driver's seat, mirrors, pedals, memory, 17 speaker Harman Kardon premium sound, power adjustable pedals with memory, and the center stop lamp with cargo view camera is a $345 option. Adaptive steering system, 300. Those 20 inch uh, wheels are $995. And then blind spot with tag trailer and cross path detection is $595. Cargo management RAM box system is $1195 and the front electronic which is 2500 bucks and the spray and bed liner by mopar is a 600 dollars option total msrp is 84,065 on this truck the one thing to note that um right here it says 69,325 is the base price the base price for the power wagon is like a hundred dollars more so um you know something to think about they're very similarly priced three or 36 
bumper to bumper and five years 60 powertrain. It's a greenhouse gas rating of B and a smog rating of B, so pretty good there. And it's actually rated for safety ratings, and it's got pretty good scores, fours and fives pretty much up and down the board, minus rollover, which is three. Um, but pretty good safety ratings. I'd feel safe taking my family out in this vehicle. In fact, I uh, just got in an accident today. In my Grand Caravan, everybody's fine, so... It, Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram makes very safe products. LED tail lamps, does have the Ram box on here. And uh, these open up like so. You got a lot of storage in here, which is really nice. You also have plugs that can come out. So if you got ice in here, you can make these coolers and then just pull those plugs out and it'll actually empty like that. And uh, you, get LED, or you get lights back here. This box can lock with the key fob. And uh, just wanted to take a look underneath here. So the Rebel comes with a bunch of skid plates. You can see there's one right there over the fuel tank, transfer case, everything's got skid plates under here. Very nice and heavy duty. And uh, you get the Bilstein shocks back here, the rear suspension with the springs. So a lot smoother ride when you're unloaded. Get the nice fender flares on there as well. This one does have the LED tail lamps, the backup parking sensors, locking tailgate, has the shock down assist. I'm pretty sure this one's got this, the power drop down tailgate. LED bed lights. If you ever want to turn your bed lights on, your button's right there on the RAM boxes. You get the bed extender slash cargo management system, and you also get the rail cargo management system with the adjustable cleats. You can loosen these up and kind of move them as you please. Hard to do with one hand. Anyways, they adjust and you can lock them into place. Really nice system. Spray and bed liner goes on to the tailgate, which is really nice as well. Turn those lights off. This one does have the cargo cam. And let's check out that interior and then we're gonna check out these brand new mirrors, which are pretty sweet. It has the enter and go system. Inside the uh, leather package, or what was that? That was the, uh, yeah, the leather equipment group gives you the black leather seats. You get the gray piping on there, the white stitching, you get the Rebel embossed into the backrest. Both these seats are heated and cooled and power, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt, power pedals, you get this funky wood grain trimish. Uh, it's kind of wood grain-ish trim on there. Um, I guess it's different. I like it. Leather bolster on the door there, memory driver seat, power windows, locks, and power mirrors. And these are your new mirror controls for these mirrors. And I'll show you what they all do. So they've got LED lights in the back and they got LED lights in the front. So we'll turn both those, both those on. <clears throat> there's your LED lights facing backwards and then there's your LED lights facing forward. So you can turn those both on or just one at a time. These also have blind spot monitoring and heated elements in there. There's your blind spot mirror. And if you remember the old or the uh, previous model mirrors, you could control that blind spot mirror and you can still do that. So that's what this button does right here. And you select which mirror you want to control. If you look at that bottom mirror, now you can control that bottom mirror. So that's a pretty neat uh, feature that I liked on the old on the uh, previous model years mirrors. And then the last thing is this button right here, which telescopes them. Now these are power telescope, and you gotta press that, and then you have to press the outside button. Check that out. And they go in like so. You gotta press that button to make them come in. And then of course they also power fold in. So really cool mirrors on this truck. And I'm pretty sure that these are gonna be the standard going forward uh, for the tow mirrors because they are so nice um, and have lots of functions to them. Back seats are heated in this one on the outboard side. You do get the power slide and rear window with the built-in rear defrost, latch child safety system. You do get storage under here. This is a load floor. A load floor is really nice. If you got muddy boots or tools, put your 
put them on there. You're not going to get your nice leather seats dirty. Or if you got pets, put both sides down. They've got a nice flat place to lay. And once again, they're not going to get your nice leather seats dirty. This is your worn winch controller. Actually, this is your uh, this is the hook for the front and your winch controller. So that comes with the Rebel package. That was a $2,500 option. Underneath here is your Harman Kardon factory subwoofer. You stu still do get the uh, in-floor storage back here with removable bins. You can put ice and drinks in there. And it's like you have too many coolers. And if you use your other Rambox coolers as coolers, then you have four coolers. Or if you're not in Wisconsin, just a bunch of extra storage space. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, and heated seat buttons. 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in, and you do get the side curtain airbags on those nice leather seats, child safety locks on the back doors. Everything else is pretty much the same as the Ram was a while ago. So here is your VIN sticker. And this particular truck, and I'll show you your tire and loading information sticker here in just a second. This particular truck has a max tow rating of 14,621 pounds, and it has a max payload of 2,849 pounds. Now that's just based on the configuration and options on this truck. Uh, you can get this one maxed out at 16,870 pounds for uh, towing and a max payload of 3,140 pounds. Uh, but that's all based on your options on the truck and how heavy the truck is. The other new thing for the Rebel here is that you get the 12 inch instrument cluster. So this is all digital um, from right there to over there is all digital display and you get your RPMs, your miles per hour. And what's nice is that you still kind of have the same controls as before on the old screen but they just kind of made it wider. So that's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Vehicle info, trip info, navigation, um, your off-road pages right there. And uh, you get your steering angle, all that good stuff. Still has a digital speedometer. So really nice looking display. You get the leather wrapped heated steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, gear selector on the right. Bluetooth and information center controls, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one does have the Harman Kardon sound system. And this is the Uconnect 5 12-inch radio. Uh, you can see you get all your different apps here. I will show you that it does have the navigation system. Everything is really nice and quick with this radio. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio. And uh, you can tell I've been in this truck because Radio Margarita Bill's on. Comfort settings. So you got your climate controls right here. Um, you can turn those on just like so. You have your heated and cooled seat buttons, your dual climate controls, uh, your fan controls there as well. And then if we go look at all the other apps again, you have, you can go to all here. You got media. So you got all those. I'm not going to go over everything, but I'll let you see. You can pause these as you wish. You got your phone apps, you have your vehicle apps, including off-road pages, your cargo cam, which is pretty nice. And then you can check out your backup cam. They've made those HD on the backup cams, which is nice. And you can power zoom in on your receiver hitch to get hooked up to your boat, camper, or trailer the first time, every time, which is really nice. And uh, the off-road pages, we'll go to those in just a second. There's your system and then other. SOS, assist, trailer tow, weather, all that good stuff. But if you go to off-road pages, you get your steering angle, which is as you turn the steering wheel, that changes. It also changes down there on the wheels. Uh, you have your latitude, longitude, altitude. If it's in too high or four high, if I switch it to four-wheel drive high, you can see now that that four wheel drive is locked, which is pretty sweet. And then you can put it back down to two wheel drive. You have your accessory gauges, which is really nice. It gives you everything right there. And then your pitch and roll, uh, which is nice if you're doing a lot of off-roading. Now down here is your eight speed automatic transmission, your push button four wheel drive. You can see you do get your axle lock right there. 
So uh, that's similar to the power wagon where you can lock both the front and rear axles. Um, but notice there's no sway bar disconnect. So that is the one thing that this thing doesn't have that the power wagon has over this particular trim level. Factory brake controller, stability control, tow haul, front and rear parking sensors, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack, 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in, and your keyless entry with remote start and power drop-down tailgate. Cup holders and coin holders are all the same. You get this really good-looking Rebel uh, metal piece right there. Looks like you could remove that with a couple Allen wrenches if you didn't like it. Um, dual glove boxes over there. And nothing special except there's speakers in the head or the headliner because of the Harman Kardon and assist and SOS buttons and your power sign rear window button. So they offer a new mirror as well. This one doesn't have it, but you can have uh, like side views of what's behind you and the camera view of what's behind you. That's an option. And you get your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. All right, so we're gonna take a look under the hood and then we'll turn on all those LED lights Actually, we'll do that right now, and then we'll start it up, take a look under the hood, and we'll be all good. I like the uh, Rebel logo up top. That looks really good. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today, and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the looks, styling, and particularly the options on this particular Ram. New trim level, always exciting to check out. And uh, like I was saying, you could remove that insert right there and you could make that functional. Under the hood, we have the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine, 410 horsepower, 429 foot pounds of torque. There's the emissions sticker. Sorry about that. And uh, hope you enjoyed the walk around. I'm gonna do one more final walk around here. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Ram 2500 truck videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this brand new 2023 Ram 2500. Rebel Crew Cab Short Box in olive green metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.